No, 28. Work out the size of angle X. Well, first of all, this is a right angle triangle. That's 90 degrees there. And because it's a right angle triangle, uh, sine, uh, cos, and tan can be options. Right? So, they can be options for sure. If we're going to label the triangle, looking out from uh, angle X here, looking out across the way, that side there is our opposite side. The long side opposite of 90 degrees is always called the hypotenuse, or H for short. And this other side here beside us here from where we're looking out, that's called the adjacent, A, D, J, A, C, E, N, T. Now, tan, why is there two ends there? There shouldn't be two ends, right? Tan X, cos X, sin X, two old angels sailing over heaven carrying a harp so that's how they're got they're just numbers you get when you divide the length of the opposite by the hypotenuse in this case uh the length of the adjacent by the hypotenuse here the length of the opposite by the adjacent here so we 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 know the hypotenuse we know the opposite so we need one of them that uses the opposite and hypotenuse so it's going to be this one here so sine x we don't know x, but we're going to figure out sine x equals the opposite, the length of the opposite divided by the length of the hypotenuse, which is going to be 23 over 47. So we get the sine inverse. So x equals sine inverse 23 over 47. And we go for that function on the calculator. Uh, shift there on my calculator and sine gives me the sine inverse function. So it should look like what you have on the screen there. And then use the fraction key and put in 23 on top and 47 below, close the bracket, press equals, and I get x equals 29.2986, etc. Along now, I'm going to round to two decimal places, so I'm looking at that 8, that's going to cause the 9 to go up by 1. When the 9 goes up by 1, the 29 effectively becomes uh, 30. So x equals 29.30 degrees. And that's the end of that one.